Alright, I'm trying this to record this in full screen here, just to give it a try, and even though this is the least, uh, more, most important place to do it, I'm going to do it to kind of show um, the concept of scripts. We've got a number of students that uh, immediately want to know, and I would agree with them, why are we drafting this one? I can just kind of, you know, I can put it in by text. Now, these specific students, I think, are dealing with something called uh, CNC, which in the end you'll see uh, is a series of little tiny step instructions, from my knowledge. Uh, and many of you eventually will realize that even underneath AutoCAD, it's nothing but a bunch of textual data, even though it's coming at you in graphics. And so as you learn um, to put in commands in by name and not just by icon, it's for this reason that you can come up with a series of scripted instructions to do a lot of your work in AutoCAD or in any drafting program. This ties you back to many different things, but predominantly to the two ways that we deal with coordinates, and that is actually Cartesian from Descartes. Um, I used to think it was the Cartesian Wars, but from Descartes, or polar coordinates, which comes from your sense of where you are and direction from you. So distance and angle and angle. Distance, left turned angle, and elevation angle. So you put them in, you can put coordinates in uh, by text, and you do that by using a flat ASCII editor. And those of you who are starting a program, I would really recommend that you really quickly figure out as something a little bit better than Notepad, but Notepad works. And so what I've done is I'm bringing up Notepad here, and I'm going to show you the series of instructions in two ways for the second problem, which was on page 73, which is basically just the thing that goes around It's that can be drafted by offset, as we showed for the first problem in terms of how to draft. So here's the new how to draft. I'm going to open up, and I've already put it in, and just we can examine what's there now. As you get good at AutoCAD, or, or as you're going in AutoCAD, you're going to realize that you can use the F2 key and then look back at what you've input. A couple things to remember when you're putting things in a text file in AutoCAD. First and foremost is that it takes a space as a carriage return 95 to 98 percent of the time. And so if you notice here, the first command that I want to do is line, and I'm going to kind of use my cursor to go through here, line, right? Right there, you notice there's a carriage return. There's no spaces there. If there was a space, it would have a problem. It would end up with double input. You notice here on that first input, I do not have the symbol at. That means it goes absolutely to point zero comma zero in my coordinate system. All right, it goes to zero comma zero. And if in fact, it's a great idea to go ahead as you just get started on these, to put a third zero in. So you get used to the fact that you're actually drafting in three dimensions even though you're on one plane. So I, you know, I don't want to, I'm going to go back and get rid of those, but AutoCAD will take it or not with the third, uh, with the third zero. Other programs are going to require that third zero. So by listing a set of instructions here, with no spaces in between and then a double carriage return in the end, you essentially draw a series of lines. And this has to do with the fact that when you say line, it says first point and then next point, next point, next point, next point, next point, until you give it a carriage return. So what we're doing here is we're starting at an absolute point, then we're going from that point, 0.75 positive x and 0 y, 0 positive x, 0.75 positive y, all the way around. So that is a script file. I'm going to go ahead, file, close this, or open instead. I'm going to no, say don't save because I've already done that correctly. And I'm going to make sure that I do these and save them in star dot star and then the script. So I'm going to do now, show you what that same thing looks like polar wise. And you don't have to do all one or all the other. Typically, you can go around the pike and mix and match. So you hear, again, you see line. And the AutoCAD command would be from where. And I, since I did not put a symbol in front of here, it's going to go absolutely from 0, 0. And it goes through and goes, and this time it goes 0.75 for a distance and then an angle of 0 or due east. Then 0.75 due north 
etc. down the pike. And so we'll work a class and actually mixing and matching these a little bit. This is a great way, a real important way to kind of get used to the fact that this is, and for many of us, a preferred input from using the dynamic input because it trains you to do the polar math and a set of scripted instructions which you can kind of troubleshoot. So now let's troubleshoot these. So I'm going to go ahead and say File, Save. You know, I've done it and I'm going to bring up AutoCAD again. This is, I'm doing it a full machine here, a full screen just to see how this loads out on YouTube. Die in the sea, die in the sea. So I'm going to go here, bring up AutoCAD. I'll actually bring AutoCAD full screen here in a little bit, realizing I'm at home here. So in fact, um, I don't have all my settings set. I'm not going to go through the whole process here of getting all my layers going. I'm just going to run the script file. And the way you run a script file is to type in script or go up to the toolbar and find the, you know, the set of programs. Let's see how this is working here. It's not working too good. There it is. I'm going to close that. Again, I'm using Civil 3D, recommended for most of you if you're, you know, I'm going to go ahead. Now i got the full screen. Now, script, S-C-R-I-P-T. Oh, one thing I cannot abide is the dynamic on. So this allows us to see down here. Remember, F2 brings that up and down. Just so you can see it across the screen there, S-C-R-I-P-T. And now that comes up. Now the reason this comes up like that, I'm going to hit an escape, is because of a, uh, of a setting called File DIA. So that's one we're going to write down, File DIA, File Dialog. And now when I type script, it's going to give me a place. I've got to go where I want to go. In this case, I know where to go. I'm going to go to, in this case, Profile 7, Page 73 Script. I hit Open here, and there it is. Now, I was way off in the distance, so I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Hitting an erase, delete, try it again. Script, page 73 script, and you see it comes in. And if I hit F2 here, you can see that it went through that series of instructions. And it's pretty nice to troubleshoot. You can find out usually where it stuttered and screwed up. Let me go ahead and erase that up. Sorry, I'm grabbing across, hitting a delete key. Now I'll try it again. Script, I can actually get script someplace by probably manage, I don't know. This action recorder, I would avoid it, but it does work. So right here, the run script. I'm going to run a script file. What's the command? It's script. We'll do the polar, and it goes, go ahead, and it works. So that is scripting, and you're going to see there's more you can do to it than that, but that's the most basic um, pieces of it. You can do a lot of instructions in scripting, especially if it is uh, you're trying to lay out some baselines or do something that's very repetitive. So uh, it's also a great way to hand off work to someone who isn't necessarily a drafts person to get some of the base work done. Uh, the best uh, manifestation of that, I would say, is doing property boundaries. So I'm going to see how this thing worked. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Thanks for listening. We're going to post this out and see if it goes out as deep as it looks like it will.